क्रिकेट इज माई पैशन एंड आई कैनॉट अवॉइड इट Assalamu alaikum good morning namaskar sat sri akal to all the beautiful people around the world last year where india were in england we were leading 2-1 that was in 2021 but a lot has changed from that time india's captain has been changed india's coach has been changed and many other things have happened as per england as well as india's team we were discussing with the legend of indian cricket mr wasim jafar last year about the series when the series came to an halt due to the pandemic but we have once again with him who is right now sitting in england wasim jafar welcome to the show thank you thank you anish bhai so how is it going in london rather in uk how how is life treating you in uk yeah it's been beautiful summer so far uh, you know the sun's out most of the time uh, which doesn't happen very often in this country Uh, but looks like an exciting uh, test match ahead plus uh, the exciting summer and the way England is playing. Uh, looks like you know uh, India has got a task cut out uh, in front of them. Well, you mentioned the sun is out, which is a good thing, and at the same time you mentioned England is playing a different brand of cricket. So before I come to you know India, you said England is playing a different brand of cricket. I know what has happened in the last three Test match, but can you tell us our viewers what has England done different from what they were doing eighteen Test matches ago? i think it's just a you know change of mindset uh, probably uh, which is the biggest uh, you know difference that we can see uh, the captain has changed uh, ben stokes is is more uh, you know flamboyant kind of of a cricketer very aggressive uh, you can see it uh, from the way he plays his cricket uh, brendan mccallum yeah, they've changed the coach uh, you know like you have said india has a different captain different coach so has england Uh, you know they've got different captain different coach and that has probably changed the mentality uh, changed their mindset and they've showcased that in in the three test matches they played against new zealand you know all three test matches they've chased big score uh, in the fourth inning in 50 or 60 overs and they went after it uh, which didn't happen last season they had similar kind of situation against new zealand but they played out a draw uh, but this time around i feel you know they you know pretty much the same mindset that they have played uh, one day internationals uh, probably under owen morgan and i think ben stokes uh, and brendan mccallum you know want to play that brand of cricket which is very very exciting you hit the nail like a new aggressive captain and with baz coming in uh, the mindset is totally changed and i was reading about him he says that he wants his team to play the same style of cricket and that they are going to play against india Uh, do you see that happening uh, against india too well i think india definitely will uh, you know pose problem there's no doubt about it india has got better bowling attack i feel they've got better spinners uh, you know uh, those three seamers that india got uh, will definitely won't uh, be that easy uh, uh, bumrah shami siraj uh, it won't be that easy but i think they'll probably come out hard uh, you know the uh, i think johnny besto uh, is is a very dangerous player you know when when that kind of player comes at number 5 and 6 when you've got uh, three or four wickets up front and player like him comes out and you know start striking uh, then you know it can uh, you know demolish your plan a little bit you know similar to what adam glickis used to do uh, but even if india pose any problem uh, i don't see any change in approach in england which is going to be exciting that's why i said it's going to be an exciting test match all right you mentioned it's going to be an exciting test match there's no doubt about it but now let me come to team india you know last year when we were there india had a captain in virat kohli who probably was aggressive and is still aggressive but he's no more the captain who is used to look into the eyes of the opposition and that used to rub on the shoulders of the other players india had a coach in ravi shastri i wouldn't say flamboyant but was a street smart coach now we don't know who is going to be the captain whether rohit sharma will recover in time looks a bit unlikely we were we are hearing that it might be jaspit bumra at the same time we have a very calm and a very you know down to earth coach rahul dravid tell us first about suppose if rohit sharma doesn't be the captain whom would you like to be as the captain of team india well they have announced uh, already that jaspit bumra is going to be uh, the captain if rohit doesn't play Uh, as he was the vice captain in in the south african series 
uh, I have my doubts. There's no doubt about it. Even though I feel that, you know, uh, he looks like uh, a guy who can do a good job because uh, uh, the way he operates, uh, you see that he's got a very good cricketing brain. He's very intelligent. Uh, but the doubt lies uh, in uh, that he hasn't captained anywhere, you know, whether it's a junior cricket, whether it's, uh, you know, T20 cricket, franchise cricket. So that is going to be uh, a problem, uh, you know, leading in, in one test match where the series uh, is hanging in balance. Uh, so that is where I feel uh, it's going to be a difficult task. Uh, I would have probably just for one test match, I would have looked at Cheteshwar Pujara. Uh, you know, he is one of the senior most guy, even though he's, he, he was dropped and he's just come back into the side. Uh, but the kind of importance that this series holds, uh, you know, I would have probably gone to him. I've seen him captain uh, a few times and I think he is, he is decent enough captain, you know, and he's somebody who's played a lot of test matches, uh, you know, probably, like I said, you know, senior most guy in this squad. So I would have probably gone to him, uh, but you know, Jaspreet Mumra will just have to wait and watch. You know how how he operates, and I wish him all the best. Well, that's an interesting thought from Vasim Jafar. Uh, to be very honest, I never thought about Cheteshwar Pujara. To be very honest, but India has everything to lose. When I say everything to lose, is that if they go on to win the series, rather they go on to draw the Test match or win the Test match, they win a series. After 2007, when Wasim was a part of the squad, when Rahul Dravid was there. But England has, I would say, something to lose. But as you said, they might play that same fearless cricket because either they will lose the series or they will draw the series. So my question, you said Cheteshwar Pujara. I know we've had an issue with Virat Kohli and the selectors in the past, what happened early this year. Why wouldn't you push Virat Kohli, who has led the squad, in the last four test matches and say, guys, let's put brush aside all the problems we've had. This is a series. This is for Team India. Why not you come in captain? Do you don't think such things can happen or it's not practical at all? No, I would have definitely uh, gone to Virat Kohli first. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but whether he wants to do it now with, with what happened in the past, uh, that, is, that is a big question. But... Uh, you know, my suggestion was uh, if Virat Kohli doesn't want to do it, uh, then, you know, Cheteshwar Pujara probably looks a better candidate. Uh, you know, definitely, like you said, uh, you know, very correctly that, you know, this series holds a lot of importance. Uh, you know, India needs to draw or at least win this test match uh, to go ahead and win the series. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, selectors probably would have spoke to him, like I said, you know, in the past, he, he doesn't want to do it, uh, you know, just for the sake of it. Now that he's given it up, he just wants to focus on his batting. His form hasn't been great. Uh, so, you know, probably he doesn't want to do it. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, correctly as well. Uh, you know, if he does it for one test match, great. But if he doesn't want to do it, uh, then, then who are your long-term, you know, candidate? And there are, you know, not many people uh, that I see. Uh, you know, apart from Rohit, especially in the red ball cricket. And that is where probably India has to look forward. You know, who, who does captain in the red ball cricket uh, for India, especially away from home. You know, in India, it won't be much of a problem because we know the conditions, uh, we know how to win test matches there. But especially away from India, I think India need to find a candidate. Just with Bumrah, like I said, you know, he, they, they've shown faith in him. Uh, and it will be interesting to see, you know, similarly, like I said, uh, MS Dhoni had never captained, uh, you know, in 2005, uh, when he came into the Indian side, he was an unknown quantity, never captained, come from, uh, you know, Jharkhand, uh, a, a place uh, where no cricketer has come and played for India. And to get an Indian captain like that, you know, one of the greatest uh, Indian captain, uh, you know, to get it from there, he's never captained anywhere. So Jaspreet Bumrah might be that candidate because he looks very intelligent. He's got that brains. Uh, and I feel he can do a job. It's just that, you know, uh, it, it's his first test as a captain. Uh, and with series hanging in such a, you know, uh, balance. Uh, so that is where my, uh, you know, uh, uh, I feel that, you know, it, it's, it's just that position of the series, uh, which makes me feel that, you know, Chiteshwar Pujara might be a little safer choice. All right, Wasim says that the series hanging in balance 
and we might find a good captain in Jaspit Bumrah. We'll have to wait and watch what's going to unfold in the next five days. Now, let me come to the most important question after the captainship. All right. We all know that Rohit Sharma might as not play because that's why we're debating about the captain. Now, whom do you wish for Shubman Gill to partner? Because even Shubman Gill did not play the last series. Rather, when India were there, he was injured. So there is yeah. no Rohit, there's no Rahul. So who will open the innings according to you? Well, uh, to be honest, I would like Shubman Gill to bat probably number four or five in future, uh, not now. Uh, but I think there's no choice for him at the moment. He will definitely open, in my opinion. Uh, and I would like Cheteshwar Pujara to open. Uh, you know, you need somebody really, really good uh, to, to counter uh, James Anderson and, and Chris, uh, Stuart Broad. Uh, I would keep uh, Hanuma Vihari at number three because that's where he has batted most of his career. Uh, for his state team and even for India A uh, and all the other cricket uh, that he has played. Uh, Virat Kohli obviously comes at number four and I would like Shreya Shahir to, to get an opportunity at number five. So that will be my top five. Uh, you know, uh, I feel Cheteshwar Pujara you know, should be forced to open uh, in my opinion. Well, I like the point which you mentioned that Cheteshwar Pujara should face uh, Anderson as well as broad uh, and open the batting and uh, Bihari to come at number three. That, that's a very solid point. And Virat coming at number four. But Shreyas Iyer, you know, as much as we've seen that he's done well in Indian conditions, this is the first time probably he'll be playing in England. You have played enough cricket in England. Uh, uh, how would you see his technique uh, to the moving ball? Well, I think uh, he's got a lot of runs, uh, first of all, uh, you know, to merit his selection in, in test cricket. Uh, he's somebody who averages more than 50 in first-class cricket, which is which is not a small feat. Uh, he's played for Mumbai, uh, you know, a place uh, where the ball bounces quite a bit, you know, does have sideways movement. So he's not new to that. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, people have questioned his, his technique against uh, the rising ball, you know, the short ball. Uh, and that is something which probably we won't see uh, as much in England. You know, it, it's the, the front foot game, it, it's the sideways movement that is going to challenge a lot of batsmen. Uh, but I feel he's somebody who can counter that. Uh, you know, he's got double hundreds in first class cricket and against good quality attacks as well. So I feel, uh, you know, he shouldn't pose any problem and somebody like him, somebody who's, who's aggressive like him, you know, like I said about Johnny Besto, you, you need somebody coming out and, you know, taking the attacks on. And that is what Shreya Shahir can do. You know, once he gets going, he can get your runs quickly and, and can get hundreds. So I feel, you know, that is a good position for him to bat there. So what Vaseen says for all our viewers is that you've got to back the experience of uh, Shreya Shahir, who scored heaps of runs in domestic cricket. And unless you try him out, how are you going to know whether he's good or bad? Am I right, Basi? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, like I said, uh, he's he's got probably close to five, six thousand runs uh, in first class cricket, and and he's got double hundreds in first class cricket, averaging fifty plus. Uh, so that is not a small feat, you know. Even though he plays a lot of white ball cricket, but he's he knows how to get runs in Test cricket. He's go, he knows how to get runs in 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 red ball cricket. He's got hundred on debut against New Zealand. Uh, he's got runs uh, whenever he's got an opportunity in test matches. So, you know, and he's somebody you need to look uh, uh, for as a future, I feel. Well, so we have locked the five players. Uh, I believe six will be Rishabh Pant. Yeah, six and will be Rishabh will be Pant, number Ravish. Seven, uh, Jadeja or Ashwin? Jadeja will be number seven. Uh, Ashwin number eight, I feel. You want uh, Ashwin to play as the second spinner? I think so. I think with, with the summer looking like that, you know, sun's coming out, the ball is looks like the ball is going to spin. So, so I feel India need to back, uh, you know, Ashwin uh, and the three seamers, Bumrah, Shami and, and Mohammad Siraj. You know, that that's a very, very solid attack, in my opinion. All right. So your point of Ashwin playing is because of the sun coming out. But the forecast for the first two days... It's a bit of rain. Now, I know England mm -hmm. weather cannot be trusted. It changes drastically. Today, it's sunny. You don't know what happens in the afternoon or what in the evening. Now, suppose if it is not a sunny weather, would you still take Ashwin? I think so. I think uh, if you need to pick from Ashwin or uh, Ravindra Jadeja, uh, you, you need to pick Ravichandra Ashwin, uh, in my opinion. Oh, that's and, a big statement. And, so, you say in, if you have to pick between Ashwin and Jadeja, you would put Ashwin. I think so. I think because uh, somebody who's got experience of, of picking wickets, you know, away from home, uh, 
he can bat as well. He's got hundreds in test cricket, so obviously he can bat at number seven. Uh, and Shardul as well. Obviously, if, if you want to play four seamers, I think your fourth seamer, uh, you will always look at Shardul because he can bat and, and you can support uh, as a fourth seamer. So if, if you want to only play one seamer, I think probably they should go at, at, at a specialist spinner, which is Ravichandra Ashwin, in my opinion. All right. So, Vaseem Jafar says, if we are going to play one spinner, it has to be Ashwin. And if you are going to play two spinners, obviously Jadeja and Ashwin. And if you have four seamers, the fourth seamer has to be Shardul because Shardul probably can give that little bit of batting. And we all remember what he did in the whole test match in the fourth uh, uh, test. Okay. Now, you know, uh, Vaseem, we, there is important thing like you mentioned about how England are playing. Now, how do we counter the attacking style? Like, you know, in all the three test matches against New Zealand, uh, New Zealand were way ahead. They used to dominate the first innings. In the second innings, they were chasing 300. But at the same time, when they were chasing 300, they were four down or three down for nothing. But England still went on to win the matches. So you saw Bairstow scoring, you saw Stokes scoring, you saw Root scoring. So is there something, there is some chink in the armor of these players where we can get rid of it? Well, I think, you know, when somebody plays like that, uh, they'll obviously uh, will give you an opportunity. And I think India needs to hold on to those opportunities. Uh, I feel Root uh, is a very, very important factor in that batting lineup. Uh, so, you know, if Root gets out uh, early, uh, you know, if India is lucky and he gets out, you know, early in both the innings, I think India has got very, very good chance. And the way Bairstow is playing and the way the Stokes are playing, they are coming out and, you know, playing very aggressive shots, uh, aggressive uh, brand of cricket. So they'll obviously give you an opportunity, I feel. And like I said, India, you know, has a better bowling attack. So, so you know, it won't be that easy, but it's always dangerous when some somebody comes out and bats in that manner and they get going. If somebody plays like that for, for one session, you know that, you know, they can change the complexion of the game. Uh, but like I said, India needs to hold on to those opportunities and when they get an opportunity, I've said it many times, India need to look to score, you know, in, in excess of 400 runs. Uh, once they do that, do that, they've got the bowling attack to, to take 20 wickets. Uh, so the first thing first, I think India needs to bat really well uh, to, you know, be in this game uh, and win this test match. It was even now the most important question. England are playing fearless cricket. They don't care whether they win or lose. India is 2-1 up. Should India go with a defensive mindset, play out 400 runs, bat 180 overs, or play the flamboyant style of cricket? Uh, no, I think India needs to go out with, with winning mentality. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, when, when somebody plays uh, you know, to win, uh, five-day cricket, you can't uh, be going into a test match with a mindset of a draw. Uh, it doesn't happen and, and it's not going to... you know. Uh, come out successful. Uh, you need to go out to win the test match. That is how you need to pick your 11 and that is how you need to play as well. So I think India will go out uh, looking for a win. There's no doubt. Both the teams, to be honest, I mean, that's that's the approach both the teams will take on. And the way England is playing, uh, you know, they obviously will make a match of it. Uh, so India need to, to look to win. There's no way India can go into a test match looking for a draw. Well, that's the verdict from the great Vaseem Jafar, who scored 19,000 runs for Mumbai and other you know, teams where he's played for. Even he scored two double hundreds for India in Test cricket. And mind you, his debut Test 100 was against England. And he was part of the winning squad when India rather last won a series. Am I right, Vaseem? After that, we haven't won a series there. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and this is a great opportunity for this squad uh, to do something very similar. So your verdict before we let you go. Will India win two one? India win three uh, one? Or will well, England I think draw? I think it's up. I think India is up against it. I feel England has got the momentum. The kind of cricket, like I said, they played against New Zealand. So I feel England are a little bit favourites. If if this Test match would have happened last season, I think India would have won the series. Uh, but like you have said correctly, that a lot of things have changed. The captain has changed. The coaches have changed. Of both the teams. So I feel the momentum uh, is a little bit uh, towards England uh, and India hasn't played, you know, they've only come in a week or 10 days before. So I feel they are a little bit undercooked, but, uh, you know, this team knows how to fight. So you can expect India to, you know, uh, fight uh, right till the end, uh, but momentum is definitely with England. 
So what Vasim says is 60-40 to England? I would say so. Even more, I would say probably 65-35 in my opinion. All right, that's what Vasim says. So we'll have to wait and watch. Uh, we will come back to Vasim after the five days of interesting cricket and we hope this match goes 65-35 in India's favour and we find a good captain in Jaswit Bhumra. Thank you very much, Vasim. And I believe you're going to be going to watch the match on the second day. Wish you good luck and you get lots of sunshine and in, the sunshine on Team India. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anish.